Deep 7225. There seems to have been a malfunction with the ruby ship, and the crystal gems have crash-landed onto a strange, Earth-like planet. I also seem to have changed appearance upon entering the environment. My sensory sponge is elongated, and now I have four gravity connectors in place of two. Rock person? Rock person? You clod! I am a crystal gem. This crash location appears extremely primitive, though some of the organic beings have the capability to talk, unfortunately. These creatures are more like gems than I originally thought. They have shape-shifting capabilities into very strange creatures. They might be corrupted. These beings seem to have no regard for shape-shifting dangers and have extremely foreign shape. Now these organisms appear to be insulting my stature. Quads. All of them. I refuse to withstand this treatment. I am going to find Beach City myself. Log date 7226. Upon further exploration, I have found a area with sand and water, much like Beach City. There are no signs of the crystal gems. There seems to be a hoofed organism wandering into a cave. They seem friendly and are not calling me names, I may follow them to see where it goes. Well, Jammers, I think Peridot is not a very big fan of the world of Jama, but I have a feeling other characters from Steven Universe would be much bigger fans. As you may have seen my last video, I had a contest regarding Steven Universe outfits for the various characters, and so in this one I will be announcing the winners to those contests, as well as showing you guys some of the very creative outfits that I was inspired to create and were created by others. Over here in the kitchen, we have a together breakfast prepared by the lovely Junior Pink Gem, which is a little goat version of Steven, who he seems very chipper and has a great dance, so I thought he seemed to match Steven's character. The big curly ram horns kind of represent his big curly hair. There's a red shirt-like thing, but it leaves a little gap so the, so the yellow shines through, which I thought made a little representation of the star. And just in case his friend Connie comes over, we have a little outfit for her as well. Fierce Bright Belle, the Red Panda. Thought the Red Panda was fitting because she's very fierce. Everyone knows Connie is a fearsome warrior, so as she holds Rose's pink sword, she can do quite a number of acrobatics. If we head up the gem staircase, we get to the gem rooms. Over here is Amethyst's room. Now, I thought Amethyst, being an adorably small quartz gem, would be probably a predator, but nice and small because she is a little purple gem. And I thought this was quite fitting for her outfit. Necklace, making it look like she has a gem on her chest, as well as some black pants and lots of hair. There was no purple fluffy hair, but I thought this white was kind of accurate. I feel like she's recognizable in this. Over here is Pearl's room with a lovely outfit designed by Artistic Tiger 5 who created this lovely pearl. And you can even notice how the flamingo sits, which reminds me a lot of Pearl, how she gracefully sits with her legs tucked under her. Over here is the lovely room for Garnet in the bubble basement, as I like to call it. I thought that Garnet, being the strong one, was also very lion-like. That way I could have some fluffy black hair, but also wear some glasses and show off some stars, which are on her outfit. Down here we have the lovely location for Sapphire and Ruby, who I thought fit foxes quite well. Here we have little Future Gem, who is quite good at seeing the future and what it may hold, with a blue graduation gown, a white scarf, and a blue hat. Right over here we have a little bit of a buffer fox as the Arctic Fox. For Ruby, a little red gem. <laughs> she has a lovely fluffy black hair 
Now, if you want to pretend to be an eyeball or other different kinds of rubies, you can always add an eye patch to represent where her gem would be on her eye. <laughs> now, if we wander down here, we get to the farm. The lovely farm is home to both Peridot and Lapis Lazuli. Lapis, I decided to make a coyote because she is quite tall but she's a bit lanky so she has this lovely blue hair as well as some wings that look very watery and a gem that kind of looks like the collar on her shirt. Now Peridot seemed to fit the fox because she is a little bit shorter than Lapis but she also has a little pet pumpkin so she she can hang out in her bathroom with her tablet. If we wander over to the donut shop, we have a couple characters in mind. Now, before Sadie quit, she often wore a purple big donut shirt along with some black pants. So here she is with some lovely blonde hair. She acts a little shy, but she's a lot tougher than you would expect from an adorable little koala. Now, Lars, he's a bit lankier, so I decided to dress him up as a wolf. Mr. Pink Pirate, because this is post post his pinkifying. Hopefully everyone's watched up to that episode. I don't want to spoil anything. But he has some fancy white pants, a black coat, and some earrings, because you never see Lars without his earrings. He is a very fashionable pink pirate. Now over at the car wash, we have gallant goofy fella, which as you probably have guessed, it is Greg. He has a lot of brown hair. Sadly, there was no beard that I could put on, but I thought this little tracksuit seemed very ruggish. You can also take the track the top of the tracksuit off because he is often in just a little white shirt, but he's got some great moves. Now there wouldn't be a Steven without a Rose Quartz, who I thought was very fitting to be a panda bear. Her fluffy pink hair, a glove to represent her shield, and her sword on her back, her pink sword that she is oh so famous for. Rosy Pink Gem seemed an appropriate name, but if we wander down here, there is a strange garden, which reminds me of another pink outfit that I have made. Young Pink Gem, which represents Young Pink Diamond, the smallest of the diamonds. All of the diamonds I have decorated with little diamond necklace. Here we have Countess Blue Gem, complete with a graduation gown as well, and a hat and diamond necklace. Then we have Cranky Tall Gem, aka Yellow Diamond. Now it wouldn't be complete without a couple of villains of our story, so I have made a Jasper out of a dire wolf, because after all, Jasper is a big buff Cheeto Puff. Very fierce. And with a necklace to represent her collar on her coat, some black pants, a genie vest, and a helmet. One example outfit of what happens when a gem becomes corrupted. This was submitted by this possum jammer, who will also be winning a spiked collar from this contest. Now that pretty much covers a lot of the main characters, but I also got some great submissions for certain fusions such as Opal, and I'm sure you guys can think of a lot of other really neat outfits to use in this Steven Universe den. Let you me know in the comments below what other kinds of nerdy creations you would like to see, and for a special bonus prize, if you can guess what this character is from Steven Universe, Teensy Snarky Gem is your hint, and if you can answer it, I will be selecting the correct answer from the comments below and sending you a spike. From this point on, I'm going to be uploading once a week on Saturdays, as well as hosting some live streams throughout the summer. Anywho jammers, hope to see you in Jimmy. Happy jamming!